Hey there, I am with Sarah Normando. We're going to be talking about craft hockey built here in the town of St. Anne. Where is it? How are you doing today? Let's start with that. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. Craft Hockey Bill is we're as a town, we're applying for this. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, Craft Hockey Bill, I think, is something that's been around for a really long time. And one of our community members had nominated our community for this opportunity. Uh, so we need everyone to rally and everyone to get involved. And we need everyone to, you know, make posts and, and share and, and uh, go to the website and register and help us out to get this because our arena is in, in dire need. It really is. So to get out there and register, how do we do that? Um, so you go to the Craft Hockey Bill website, you can either Google it or you can go www.crafthockeyville.ca, uh, press enter, and then once you're there, uh, you are going to go to the sign-in. If you don't have an account, you're going to create one, it's going to prompt you to register. Um, I mean, I can show you on my phone or you can do it yourself. Um, but you just register, it'll prompt you to fill out your name and your email address and all those sorts of things. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the Find My Arena. Um, it's pretty user friendly, but I mean, find my arena, click on or um, put in the town of St. Anne and you'll find the arena in there. And then you can uh, submit a uh, like actually or um, have a reaction to 15 photos that gives us points. You also get points for submitting five photos per registration. And then uh, uh, sharing it on Twitter, if you have a Twitter account, also gives us points, a note and a story or a video gives us points. I think this, the story actually gives us the most points. Uh, so all those things are good. And uh, it would be awesome if everybody can, can help out because we're doing really, really good. We have almost 300 submissions. Uh, I still haven't found one community arena that has uh, more than us yet, maybe uh, very close to us. We have to keep the momentum up. We have to keep going, share with everybody you know, right across Canada. You know, family members can help out. Anybody 13 and older can help out and make, make a registration. and. and in. Okay, so it's not just to the town of St. Anne, we can do all across Manitoba, all across Canada. Yeah, I haven't found another Manitoba mm. arena that has uh, been going for Craft Hockey Bill yet, which is, you know, it's going to go very well for us and we're just hoping that, um, you know, our, our Eastman supporters and all the different, you know, organizations are going to help us out because really if we lose the St. Anne arena, it's way bigger than just St. Anne. There's a lot of different teams that play out of here and if we lose this arena, that's just one less arena that, you know, we can schedule the games in for a lot of people. We also have our Eastman Selects here too. We have our Senior Aces here. Um, this arena is home to many users, so it's, it's important to everyone and everyone needs to get on board and help out because this is what's going to give us our best chance. So the best way you guys can help out is share. Share with friends, share with family, get them to go on and register. We'll keep all that uh, the information down below and so that way everybody knows how to do it and so it's as simple as possible. It's a pretty easy format, correct? Yeah, it's pretty easy. If anybody has questions, just reach out. Like it's really, really easy if once you get to register, you can't register more than one email. So if you have a 13 year old or a 14 year old, actually I ran into this. If you have a 13 or 14 year old kid that you want to create a profile, they need to put in their email because if you put in yours, if they don't have one, uh, it's just gonna say that you're already registered. And that's simple enough to do. So. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And they awesome. want to see pictures that are, you know, very unique to you and this arena. So if you're one of the senior aces that have won multiple championships in this arena or provincials, um, use those photos. Like it doesn't matter which five photos, you don't have to overthink it. You don't have to look for hours on different photos. If you have photos of when you were a kid, like I grew up playing in this arena too. So um, at first I was trying to find my old ringette photos, but then it was, doesn't matter. The points are the points. So just find what you have and submit them. That's what's important. Yeah, and that, that winning craft hockey bill would go a long way for this arena already. And that would be incredible. Yeah, yeah I think we can uh, definitely find ways to spend the $250,000 very easily in this arena. And I think that our community knows that, our users know that, and uh, anybody who's familiar with our arena or calls the arena home all know how badly we need this. So, yeah, yes. it'll be good. Yep. Um, anything else that we need to share? No, that's about it. Just I would say keep the momentum up. I think we have, what is it, 24 day countdown now. So every day um, they keep uploading more in the afternoons. So you can see the new submissions. Um, and I think we're on day 24. So 24 more days left. And we're just hoping to keep that momentum up and, and uh, tell your friends, tell your family. I have family in the Yukon and I'm, I'm hoping that they all make submissions as well. So as long as they're Canadian citizens, if they have homes in Florida, if they're a Canadian citizen, they can also um, register and help us out. So it's... Yep. Anybody can help. Awesome. So get out and vote. Let's get it done.